had a couple of people ask me to show them how I was folding my fabrics for my wall. And so I thought I would just see if I could put together a video to show you that. Um, the first thing that I did was determine how wide my, my shelves were and how wide I wanted my fabrics to be. After a, a lot of trial and error, I found out that a six inch ruler is perfect. So I have a six inch ruler. Um, for the large things though, where I have several yards of fabric, uh, maybe five yards or more, um, it, this was too big. When I did this, it just kept getting wider and wider and wider, so it did not work. Instead, I cut a piece of uh, foam core board that's about, um, I think it's about five and a half inches, and I'm using that for the larger pieces. It doesn't work quite as well, but honestly, I don't have that many pieces that are big enough to use it. But um, let's get started with how we do it. Let's start with a piece of fabric that is um, probably about a yard. And the way I do this, you can see that this piece has uh, some things that are cut out of the end of it. Originally, I was folding those cut out ends inside my fabric and I realized that when I get ready to use it, I want to head for this piece first. So that was the wrong way to do it. You can see this has some wrinkles and such in it. So the first thing I do is just do a real quick iron of it. Um, just not worried tremendously about it. I just want to get a few of the wrinkles out of it and make it a little bit flatter so that I can fold it. Okay. Some people really worry about keeping this edge here, the, the selvage edge, straight. I really don't worry about that too much. As long as it's not just way, way wonky, I don't worry about it. Next was taking uh, my ruler and placing it down on the fabric at some point. Um, maybe bring it down a little bit more. The, honestly, the hardest thing to do is this first step, and that's just that first movement. Holding it here on one side and here on the other side, and just folding it over like that. I was originally doing this on my cutting table, and I found that it was too slippery. So this surface on the ironing board is wonderful for doing this. So now I'm just going to roll and roll. And when I get to here, I'm going to pull this over. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to do something different first. If I do that, I'm going to have this little bitty piece right here that's going to end up um, probably coming loose and getting in the way. So I'm going to open this back up again, and I'm going to make a fold in the fabric. Just bring it right here, and I'm just going to quickly iron this down. I don't always iron it. It just depends on, on how much it needs it. And now I'm going to come here. And do one more fold and bring it right there so that's perfect and then I hold on to the fabric here and pull this uh, ruler out and then I can fold it in half and it's ready to go so the next question is exactly what color does this go in next let's look at a fat quarter uh, I have this fat quarter of fabric again I'm gonna lay it on my board upside down and give it a quick press now, since a fat quarter should be, I'll cut these off while I'm standing here. Since a fat quarter should be 18 inches from here to here, I have the long edge going this direction. Since it should be 18 inches, and this is a six inch ruler, I should be able to just fold it three times, or two, two folds and have three layers of fabric. If it's cut exactly right, it works. If it doesn't, I have to make some adjustments. So here's, I bring this down as far as it will go on this piece. And then I pull this over here and look, this one has been generous. So I'm gonna bring it back up here. Again, do a quick fold like that. Bring it over. Pull it out and it's ready to go. But let's do something different. If I take this piece and instead of folding it all the way right here, I can bring it up closer up here further and not have as much folding over. I can fold like this, straightening it up as much as possible, and then pull this fabric over, and I think that's actually a better fold for a fat quarter. Then I just put my finger there to hold it, pull that ruler out, and off I go. So there's another fat quarter ready to go. Those first ones that we looked at were pretty easy because they weren't all cut into tremendous different shapes. Um, let's look at this one. You can see it's small. It's not six, just barely six inches wide and it has this, uh, this cutout here. What I'm going to do on this one is I just try to turn it into a six inch strip somehow. 
So for this one, what I'm going to do is finish this line coming across here. So I'm going to fold this over and just get a line right there. And then I'm going to put my ruler on. And I think for this one, because there really isn't room to fold anything over, I'm just going to put this against that edge right there and then fold this up and just give it a little quick press right here. Not spending too much time on the ruler. Pull it off and just iron it down a little bit better. And then fold it in half. And look, one other example. I have this piece that is almost the full width of the fabric, but not quite because I have some pieces cut off here. I'm going to leave it that full width as much as I can. Give it a quick iron. Now in this one, there really is not a place to fold over. I don't have enough room to, to bring it to the center really well. I can't overlap them at all. So what I've been doing is this, just making an edge here uh, on this side and ironing it down as straight as possible. Well, that's a mess. Let's try it again. Iron it down. And then I take the edge of this ruler and put it against that fold that I just made. And then come over here pull this one over, and if I am careful, I can just pull this out and have it just stay in place, and I can iron it down, and there we go. Once again, you can't tell there's a big cutout in the middle of it. Next, I have another fat quarter that has a little bit cut out of the corner of it. I bet that was for my um, color wheel quilt that I'm working on right now. Same thing, I'm going to put this piece of fabric down with this cut piece on the edge so that when I unroll it, I have the piece that already has something cut out ready to be working with, worked with. I'm gonna give it a quick iron. And let's see if this one is cut properly. I think it may be a little bit big as well. I mean, I don't mind it being big. That means the owners are being generous. We'll bring that over right to the edge. Oh, look, that one's perfect. Right there, I have this cut edge right here and I'm going to pull again this out now this one, since this is a pretty lightweight piece of fabric, I may just give it a little press just to make sure that it stays in place. You don't have to press larger pieces, but anytime it's a fat quarter, I always look just to see if it needs a little press or not. So there's my piece of fabric. When I pull it out and open it up, this is the, piece, this is the side that will be ready for me to cut. Let's look at this very large piece of fabric. It's several yards. Again, I'm going to, um, line this edge up, the selvage edge, as much as I can and put it down on my ironing board. Sometimes I start kind of in the middle just to, um, to start with my ironing. I'm going to be putting a crease here on this side. And so again, I'm just going to quickly do a, a little iron on this. Let's keep going back up here at the top. I found it easier to iron this part, the part that's going to be on the inside and push it over to the side. Um, rather than coming back the other direction because this means I'm now ready when I finish ironing this I'm ready um, to to do the folding one thing I will mention here is this wonderful ironing board uh, this just sits on I've, I've mentioned it before in my blog but it, it's just a large board um, that sits on top of my regular ironing board um, I had planned on making one of these and mentioned it to a friend and she said oh we have one from when we had a shop do you want it and I immediately said yes please um, it is magnificent and I would encourage you if you have the room to uh, get online and Google how to do this because it is so so wonderful to have this one is 22 inches in in width um, and that is a great um, that's a great um, width to have it because you have um, you know your fat quarters are 18 inches so you have plenty of room to put a fat quarter on here so let's just keep ironing almost through again you can see I'm not spending a whole lot of time I'm not worrying so much about what the back side looks like of this I just want to get it ironed as quickly as I can Alright, because this is a large piece, it's going to have a lot of folds in it. I'm going to use my piece of, of board that I've cut. Again, I'm just going to put it on here. Start rolling. Once you get started, it's just a matter of continuing to roll. I try to only pull it every couple of times back like this just to keep it flat. Uh, you can see this is moving a little bit here, but I don't mind. 
And of course the phone rang in the middle of that. So let's finish now. Just walking through, continuing, continuing, continuing. Again, just bring this over here. Uh, the only hard part with this piece of cardboard is that it's a little bit harder to get the, uh, the board out because it's not as slick as a, um, a ruler would be. But again, just pulling it out and giving it a fold. And now that's ready to go. And it will still fit on my shelves with everything else. Next, let's look at this piece. You can see there really is not much room here at all. There's not much I can do with it. It is not long enough this way for me to be able to fold it over and have two layers. Uh, so really the only thing I can do with this piece is fold it up and put it in a different container. I'm planning to have a, a basket uh, or a box, plastic box that has all these little bits. It'll probably just be folded something like that and stuck in this box. And one last piece. This one is not quite a full uh, fat quarter and it has obviously a little chunk out of it. So what I'm going to do is lay it down and hit it with the iron. I'm going to put my ruler down in the middle of it. I'm going to fold over from this side, over from this side. And then what I've been doing is just putting my finger here and pulling straight out. You see it skewed just a little bit, but I can pretty much line it back up again. Again, this one, I'm going to give it a press just to hold it in place. Turn it over like that, and I've got another piece to go on the shelf.